fishing with the frog tonight. Today is August 17th and uh, have about two hours to fish. And so my desire is to catch five smallmouth bass. I will also be acceptable for um, a largemouth bass if one should hit but I would like to get at least five bass in this short window that I have oh I had a hit I lost it but yes as the Sun's working its way down my uh, my desire is to catch uh, five one pound um, bass, smallmouth bass, and um, I, I do believe that it's definitely possible. I just got to make sure that I uh, get the hook set right on them and get it to where they're going to be. But I'm going to tune out right now. I'm going to switch this rubber frog off. It would probably work really well in a lot of other places, but I think my hook uh, ratio would be probably pretty poor right now. So I'm gonna put on a, a popper or a whopper popper, one of those and see how well that works. But I'll bring you right back as soon as I make that change out. Oh yeah, that was what I was looking for, yes. This might be my first one that's a one pounder. All right, yes. Nice, beautiful fish. All right, let's get it towards shore. Ooh, don't hook me, ouch. All right. I knew there was one over there. Just had to get over there and uh, get it nearer. The vicinity where it can hit it let me what I'm doing is I'm examining where the hooks came in at the fish so as to try to uh, get it so that basically I'm not ripping its mouth in the process of trying to get the hooks out okay that hooks not in it's just the one this one right here Okay, buddy. There we go. The reason I took my time is because it was in such a place that if I aggressively try to forcibly take out my hook with little regard to the fish, I would have really hurt its mouth. It has a little bit of blood right there, but that was not too bad. I didn't wound or injure its mouth. Um, according to my thing, if it's over this, it should be 12 inches, which will make it a pound, and it's perfectly on, just about, um, yeah, just about uh, perfectly on there. So if it's in that length, that makes it 12 inches and makes it one pound. So great fish for the first one. <laughs> well. So now I'm down to catching or needing to catch four more of those. So let's get back at it. All right, I'm gonna try one in the center. I got one. I don't know if it's gonna be a big one or just a rock bass, but it's coming across pretty easy right now. Yep, it's a rock bass, but that was basically immediate. So as soon as I threw it in, um, it was there to hit it. 
He's definitely not going to help me with my one pounders as much as he may want, want to be a big guy. That's just not his thing. Ouch. <laughs> but you can see him. He's just a beautiful, beautiful little rock bass. And I've been catching loads of rock bass this year, but these are beautiful fish and just enjoy to catch. So let's let him go. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get back there because if uh, he was responding, then it's very likely there could be something else back there. Here I am. I moved to the point where I'm just about to uh, pass this one uh, real nice tree in front of me. I can't believe that there's not a fish here, so I'm going to give it a throw on this other end um, of the tree um, by this other tree that's laying down and see if there's something there. If I can cast in that just right, um, I might find that there's a nice fish over there waiting that I'll be able to catch. So let's, let's see if I can get it over there nicely. I would have preferred it not to splash, but that's in the general area. <laughs> wasn't looking for it. I was actually looking up the river right got one I don't know if it's gonna be a one pounder but it's a bass all right let me come over here so I can unhook it there we go oops <laughs> There we go, so that's fish number two. Well, actually, according to the way that I count, it, even though I had it and I had it on there and I was walking it to the thing, unless I touch it, um, I, I won't count it. So as much as it's killing me because I'm having a tough night and I think I've only gotten two so far, that uh, one bass and then the uh, uh, rock bass. As much as I want to keep that one fish, I'm going to have to let that one uh, not count. It'll be uh, 0.5 because I did technically have it. I didn't bring my net tonight, but um, I could have had it if I reached down and grabbed it. I just kind of was figured I'll just uh, not monkey with it and just take it right over to the shore where I should have at least picked it up. All right. It is presently eight o'clock. I have a very short window, but I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe get one or two fish out of here before I gotta work my way back. All right, I got a fish here. Let's see what he's going to be. A ah, little baby rock bass. I believe that's a rock bass. Had looks of a rock bass. So. A hit of something. All right, I got a decent one here. It didn't come from a top water, but it will be a fish. And uh, very happy because it's been a tough day. This evening has not come easy in catching them. So this will be the Berkeley uh, worm that. Uh, caught this fish and so yeah you can see that just a beautiful fish thank you for letting me catch you going to release you and uh, let you get bigger <laughs> and that one was probably just 
just a pound. It was pretty chunky. Um, but at this point, I was hoping that mine would be top. So I've got to kind of forfeit what I was planning. And at this point, um, just sheer catch fish is acceptable. So that's what I'm working on right now. Just trying to catch fish. So I'm going to put another one on. As I continue to work my way back to uh, the road. And of course, all you simply do with the jig head is put it through where the mouth is, go until you're in the back, and put it through, and that should be it. So, I'm good to go. This area has one of the deepest spots on this uh, upside of the creek but to my surprise I just have not caught fish out of it um, can't figure that out oh I got one <laughs> look at that got myself a whoop, little bass nope I had that one because he kicked off he was on there and I just he popped off as I had that so all right, I made it to the bridge. I swipped, switched out my uh, Rebel Popper, or I was switched to my Rebel Popper. So I just want to see in the, whew, yes. I have roughly about uh, nine minutes to go before this thing is uh, over, this challenge, and just caught myself a real nice rock bass. So, um, before I call quits, I'm going to see if I can uh, catch and maybe possibly make my goal in the last nine minutes. I know that's a pretty good, uh, that's not much of a time span, but um, you just never know with this creek what can happen in just a short period of time. Get over here. All right, let's try a little bit closer to the right there. That should be a good spot. Yes. That should be a bass. Oh, he kicked off and it was nice. Oh, man, that hurts. Oh, oh that hurts. That was a nice bass. That was easily a two pounder, maybe a three pounder. Oh man, that hurt. Oh, Let's see if I can get another one to hit. I was wondering why it took so long for a hit. I don't think he'd bite again, but maybe there'd be another one. Oh, that hurt. That was a nice, that was a good bass. I would have been the big boy of the day. There we go, that's a good spot. Let's see if there's a bass hanging out here this evening. There was a fish there, but I don't think he's the big boy I was looking for. He is bass though. There we go. Nice, beautiful guy. He's gonna one day be a monster. So thank you for uh, letting me catch you and let me let you go.
All right, my friends, that's going to conclude this fishing trip. Um, I'll talk to you later. Friends, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share with your friends. Have a blessed day.